Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS23 tutorial video. In this video I'll show you how to fight against wheat in your fields. And be aware this is a tutorial for the mobile version of FarmSim and I tell you that because they are mixed up rather often and this is for FS23. Okay, here we are. In FS23 you can dis can't disable um, wheat so you have to take care of it if you want to have the full yield. And the only possibility to fight this wheat is with herbicide. And here we have one of these machines where you can spread the herbicide and we go to the shop and we have to go further down and it's in the area of the crop protection. And I wouldn't call it crop <laughs> protection but Okay, they call it like that. Um, and here we have the small hardy and it costs nearly 40,000 bucks and you can put 2,700 liters of herbicide inside and the working width is 24 meters. And there is the bigger one. It costs 75,000 bucks and you can store 5,200 liters of herbicide and the working width is wider, it's 32 meters. Yeah, so for the beginning this smaller hardy is um, totally okay. And let's look for the detail. And here they say sprayers are used to elimin eliminate weeds on your field to increase the yield. Okay, so now let's have a look at the in-game machine. I try to go around it. Here you can see all those... Um, yeah, it, it unfolds very nicely to become um, this 24 meters of the working width. We will see when, um, when we will work with it. So now we enter the tractor. And yeah, concentrate on the front of the tractor while I go back to connect. And then suddenly we get another tank automatically in the front of the tractor. This is a feature of FarmSim 23 uh, that happens with the mower as well and weights and such and so with some um, appliances we get an automatic front additional appliance. So now we go to a field that needs this weeding and I try to find the sweet spot with around 12, kilo, 12 meters from the edge Maybe it's around here, but um, yeah, I, I guess we will have some overhang to the right side. But it's okay, it's better than not spraying everything. But before we start, I go outside and then we have a look. And here we can see it says wheat growing herbicide. And we already have a yield bonus of 50%. Keep that in mind. And yeah, the best time to, um, to spray against wheat is between two fertilizing trips. You can't um, fertilize two times after each other. So you have to do something in between or wait one month. And 
you could fertilize and then spray against wheat and then fertilize again. That's how I do it. And as I have a sewing machine that fertilizes while sewing, I have the sewing and then I do the reed spraying. And that's what we do here now. So I enter again. And now we can unfold it with um, the shoulder button and A. And here you can see how nicely it unfolds. A little bit like a frog. And when it is unfolded, it starts at once with the spraying. So we have to go. And you can use a helper. And sometimes when you start with the helper at the beginning of the field, it says, oh, there is no field or something like that. And then you just have to work few meters yourself and then start the helper. And as this um, metal here is very long, sometimes the helper has some difficulties. As you can see here, it can... So that's me now that sticks to a building or a tree. But for the helper, it ha happens too. And I know what to do. I can just drive back and then may do it better. And there is another thing to mention. So we go as far back as possible. And then at the far end of the field, you see at the left side, it's brighter. And where we haven't um, sprayed already, it's darker. And you can only see it far away, not nearby, which is a mistake, I would say. But when you know it, it's OK. So far away, you can see a difference in the texture color of the field. And where you have sprayed, it's brighter. And where you haven't sprayed, it's darker. And when you later fertilize over this um, sprayed field, then it becomes darker again. And this is only a very f tiny difference in the color of the field uh, where you can recognize where you have already been. So, but all in all, for small fields, it's a rather fast job to be done. So, and now I deactivate it again. And then we have a look on the field. And then we refill this tank. Okay, so now we have a look here. So it doesn't say any more um, like uh, wheat needs herbicide. And we got a yield bonus that is now 70%. Before it was 50%, as you re uh, remember. And so we got an additional 20% yield bonus. And so if you have to decide whether to buy a fertilizer spreader or a sprayer, then you can think on how much yield bonus will it give to me. The um, spraying brings you 20%. And the fertilizing brings you 60% if it's done twice, which is the normal. So the fertilizing brings much, much more yield bonus. 
So if I could only buy one of those two machines, I would buy the fertilizer spreader first. And then after the next harvest, um, you can buy the sprayer. It's definitely worth buying it as soon as possible because 20% yield bonus is quite a lot of yield and quite a lot of money. Um, but the fertilizer spreader is even more important. So now we go to fill it up. And the um, herbicide is rather expensive, but you don't need a lot. So here we are. Beside this silo. And in Neubrunn it's also at the barn where you can buy the, the herbicide. So, and now we press X and we can choose or say yes, I want to fill, uh, fill with herbicide. And now we have less money and the tank is full. Okay, that's it about the fight against wheat in FS23. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss!